first, believe it or not, we women spend almost three years of our lives shopping. Yeah. Silence. I was shocked by that. I think that's a lot. New research has found that between feeding the family, buying treats and hunting for a bargain, the average female shops for 25,000 hours over 63 years, which is how they come up with the figure of three years of our lives spent shopping. But is it such a waste of our time or is it a valuable investment? What do we think, girls? Well, have you met my mother? <laughs> she, sh she shops for England. I really? And uh, I, think, I think it's more to be quite honest, because you're always thinking, oh, need to just get down the shop, get that, need to get that sorted. Um, I love shopping. I do quite like it, and I've, I've always just shopped for clothes and things like that, and not household things, and definitely not groceries. No. But now, now I'm having to do that, and I've noticed that if I go to the supermarket, the trolley is up there, and if Ed goes instead, he just gets what we need. So I'm going to start sending him all the time now because he's, he's much better at shopping. He goes in, gets what, exactly what we need and comes back out. Whereas I said, I think, oh, look at this. This is new. Shall we try this? And then we've got all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. And then you eat it. If, you, if you're in your fridge, you can't eat it. That's what I think. So I'm going to cut down a bit. I don't, I don't like that full fridge look. Why? I, I, well, I don't know because it, I just, it looks excessive to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love shopping. I do love shopping, but in... Certain environments, I, I, I enjoy it. Like if I go into a, a store for clothes, mm. for instance, and I'm, I'll get back like to the food thing. Then. I'm going there. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Small shops with, with um, a choice of pieces, small things, like big, big spaces so I can see what they are. Mm. But if you go into a, a shop that, where everything's crammed and busy and I just get confused and mithered and I have to leave, and, or, or like in a big, big um, department store like, you know, Selfridges or Harvey Nicks or, or mm. whatever, I just don't like them because there's too much stuff. And to me, a supermarket is exactly the same. Mm. You go in a supermarket and there's just too much stuff. You know, I'd rather just go up the road. So now I send Mark shopping. Yeah. I say, right, get this, get this, 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 this and this. And then I, he phones me up when he's finished and I go in the car and pick him up because he, he hasn't got a car. So I go pick him up and loads of stuff. And I'm telling you, the trolley... It's up there. Oh, it's opposite to me. No, it's yeah. totally the opposite. It just picks up. And I go, what, hang on, what, we're shopping for a family of six. It's only me and you. And it's all stuffed in the fridge. And then I open the fridge and I can't see what I want because there's too much stuff. <laughs> yeah. So it does my head in. What, what is it about men, right, that they do bulk buy, don't they? We'll buy one Why? and they'll come back. Well, I don't know. Dan, I don't know. But Darren's like Ed. He will only, he'll stick to the list. I no, will stick to the so list and 40 other and items that I decided along the way. I know. <laughs> I think I'm addicted to shopping. I think I am addicted to... Supermarket shopping is the highlight of my week. I love it. <laughs> I go down every aisle. My... Honestly, I, I come home with things I don't need, but I love shopping. I'm going to the garden centre tomorrow. I like that. believe you me, I'll come back with plants. I don't know how to plant them, don't know what they are. They'll be dead by next week. <laughs> but I love the shopping bit. Yeah, that's just wasteful, though. I bet you throw half of it away. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. You know what? At the weekend, I had, I had two girlfriends over for dinner on Saturday night, and my friend Kath looked in my fridge and she said, and it was rammed. That's how I like oh, to I keep it around. It's fridge. excessive. It's exactly it's what you said. So do you know what? If you're running a home, you don't need a full fridge. Actually, you to don't. run a successful home, it should be half empty because you cook fresh and you keep rehashing the, the leftovers. And she's really industrious. Really, re she's really, really good cook. But how do you get time to go out and shop every day? You know, that's the difference, well, isn't it? In supermarkets, little around the corner. Which one? My shop. My, well, yours is. Mine is. Because I live in London. <laughs> and you live in the country, so you have to get in your car That's to go right. to a shop. The I difference tell you. is internet shopping. Oh. I think there's no buzz involved, oh. is there? How can there you get a buzz out there sitting there pressing When it arrives, it's so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> have you, that, that, have no. you never tried cyber shoplifting? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, right? So you go onto one of those really expensive designer online websites where they sell really expensive clothes, yeah. right? And you go through and you look at all the sizes and get the pictures, get the measurements, sort it all out, put it all in the basket, end up, you know, 15, 20,000 pounds <gasps> worth of clothes, and then you just run away. <laughs> <laughs> what you press send by mistake? Wait, wait. Uh, knackered. Yeah. Oh, no, they would 
give you your credit card, but you know you can send it all back. And actually, internet shopping. I know that you know the shop is is nice if you can find a nice shop. Like I went to a shop in Belfast recently, and I was browsing around, and there wasn't much stuff in there, so it was nice. And the guy came up and said, "He said, would you like something to drink?" And I spotted a coffee machine. I thought, coffee? No, I don't want coffee. And uh, he said, "Are you sure?" And I said, "Well, I don't know. What have you got?" And he went, "We've got champagne." I went, "Yes, please." <laughs> <laughs> and so we're in the in the changing room drinking champagne. That's and the I sort thought, of shopping you like, Louis. It was yeah. great, but then Big I ended up buying. Things. Well, there you go. That's yeah. what I give it you. It's a false economy. Now, talking of shopping, we've just the thing to help you.